Yes, and Kendall, first, hats off to Baltimore City for putting on an incredible 4th of July celebration and putting on an incredible or an amazing fireworks display. It was definitely something to see tonight, but I also have to say fireworks weren't the only thing that was in the air tonight. Nostalgia was, too, because you could tell just by how many people who came to the Inner Harbor that it was a much-needed celebration after it was canceled two years in a row. Music, food, and a lot of fun. Baltimore's 4th of July celebration was a huge success. It's amazing how much is going on down here. It, uh, it's uh, really good, clean fun. The Independence Day festivities were held for the first time since the pandemic began. I think it's great. Hundreds of people packed downtown with folks like James King enjoying the holiday at the Inner Harbor for the first time. A couple years that it was shut down, it was miserable staying in the house and watching TV and not being able to do nothing. And it's really good to get to come out and uh, some kind of normal. We just, we luckily came out and found an awesome place. Carmela Omatri says she used to come here every 4th of July until the pandemic kept her home. This is the only reason why we came out. It's been so long. We both have been staying safe. And this is our really first true out. And the show everyone was waiting for, it didn't disappoint. The fireworks lit up the sky for about 13 minutes. And after two years, some say it was worth the wait. They are awesome. My favorite one was the one where it was like gold and it was right above us. Now, there was an increased police presence here and around the Baltimore City area, but I can tell you that there were no issues here at the Inner Harbor celebration tonight. To me, everyone just seemed to want to enjoy themselves and enjoy the holiday in a way they haven't been able to in a long time. Reporting live tonight at the Inner Harbor in downtown Baltimore, Ray Strickland, WMAR2 News.